So when are we going to get to meet him, then? No more than a tenner. You're trying to keep us apart because you've told him you're only 28. Oh, I think I can get away with it. In the right light? <laughs> you might be overdoing that a bit. Oh, confidence in a tube. I need all I can get. I think if I wore some of that, they might give me a job. Yeah. Not sure it's a job you'd want to do, though. All right. I'll see you later, then. Mm, good luck, darling. Yeah, you too. Nathan was late last night. Yeah, he went to some business dinner. Didn't get back till two. Mm. <clears throat> uh, shame Maisie's not so committed to the family cause. Might give her less time for inappropriate boyfriends. That's the hand. Saw. Breakfast at the cafe, then. Hang on, Maisie. What? Oh, sweetheart. I am really hoping that one day you will understand why we don't want you to see him. I just can't get my head around why it's any of your business. Well, your parents were trying to stop you ruining your life. Oh, because that's your job, isn't it? Do you know, I think your father's done you a big favour. You just can't see it yet. <laughs> yeah, because punching anyone who talks to me is really helpful. Kane isn't right for you. Let me make my own mistakes. Oh, at least there's one thing you're good at. What, like you and parenting? <sighs> You know something? What? I actually think you have half a chance of making a success of this. What, thing. only half? Get off. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh. Get in. you show up here like this? What if she saw you? You didn't leave me any choice. Go away. No, not until you agree to meet me. God's sakes, Faye. I mean it. I'll meet you at the flat. Now? Yes, now. Go. <sighs> so, um, that's all the heavy stuff done. Yeah, yeah. Good. Just realised I'm running frightfully late for my golf lesson with the pro. That's all right, darling. You go play golf. I didn't uh, know this was all going to take so long. Don't worry. Go. Oh, you don't mind, do you? No, no. See you later. Good. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like it. Very nice. We're not open yet. I just thought I'd come and get my tab going before the rush. My husband will be back soon. No, oh, I doubt it. So if you want another taste of what you had yesterday... Oh, you mean Maisie? Get out. Get out! Do you really think people are going to fork out all the odds just for a posh label? Do you know, if I wanted business advice from you, I'd ask for it. Well, you could do worse. Looking forward to having you as a neighbour, though. You know, looking out for each other. Just give us a shout if you need anything. Oh, and, um, say hello to Maisie for me. No right to jeopardize my marriage. That wasn't my intention. You know how I felt these past few weeks? Knowing that you were gone, knowing that I'd never, ever have to see you again. It's been great. Wow. Why would you say that to me? I don't think I can make this clearer. You are not part of my life anymore. And you will never be again. So why don't you move on with your life and leave me alone? Because there's something you need to know. I'm sorry. I do wish I'd handle things better. But this is where we are. I have a family. And I am not prepared to do anything else to hurt them. And what about me? Faye, listen. I don't want you. In fact, I'm beginning to find it hard to imagine why I ever wanted you. Do you know how it makes me feel to have you throwing yourself at me like this? How dare you? It makes me feel sick. All right, forget it. This isn't exactly how I imagined it happening. It was a bad idea. You got that right. We'll do it another time. No, we will not do it another time. You will not ever come near me, ever again. 
Understood. I came because I wanted you to meet someone. Oh, for goodness sakes, why on earth would I want to do that? I wanted you to meet our son. This was always going to be your last card, wasn't it? The one to play when you're really desperate. Have you no self-respect at all? When you left, I wasn't sure I was pregnant. Timing wasn't perfect, was it? Faye. And when I realized you weren't ever coming back, you became such a comfort to me. I still had a part of you. This isn't going to work. I'm sorry you felt you had to stoop to this. Take a look. That's the day he was born. My dad took that. That's his first birthday. That's our first holiday. That's him riding his bike. Yeah, I mean, right up until last year. There's so many because I was terrified of losing him as well. I don't know what to say. Ryan Daniel Lamb. Sensitive, caring, and even more handsome than you were. So why didn't you say this when you first came back? I wasn't sure I wanted you to know. I... Like he's just lost his job in his flat, so he's moved back in with me. Will you stay and meet him? Easy to pretend the past never happened when you see your own flesh and blood. I just... I just wanted you to get to know each other, and, and then when the time was right... It wouldn't ever be. It was better he thought you were dead than that you just walked out on us. I didn't know he existed. Would it have made any difference? I wasn't walking out on you. I was running away from myself. Really? I wasn't ready for that kind of commitment. I'm sorry I was such a burden. If only you decided that before marrying me and getting me pregnant. I was so young. He cried his eyes out at your memorial as if he'd seen you every day of his life. He thought it meant giving up on you. I, I don't think he ever really did. I'm sorry, Faye. I can't do this. I have to go. Oh, hi. Ryan, um, I, I'd like you to meet Mark. Mark, this is Ryan. Hi. Mum told me about you. Pleased to meet you. So tell me, how, how did you guys meet all those years ago? You know, Ryan, I uh, really should be making a move. Oh. Uh, well, let me buy you a pint. <laughs> Perhaps another time. Oh, come on, ten minutes max. Mum, you want to come? No, I think I'll give you two boys a chance to get to know each other. Maybe I'll join you in a bit. Just the one, then. But then I really have to be somewhere. Don't give him too hard a time, will you? Depends how he shapes up. Mm -hmm.